All right, what's up, y'all? So I am in Anaheim, California, and I'm going to Disneyland. I'm by myself. It, I just wanted to start making more vlogs because, I don't know, they're kind of fun. I like editing, and it's just, you know, kind of want to start doing more stuff like this. So, yeah, welcome to the vlog. We made it. Good morning, y'all. It is the first day. Oh, wow. We made it. We slept. We woke up. This is good. This is good. I got a park hopper pass, so we're going to start out in California Adventure today. And then we're going to end up in Disneyland. For this trip, I'm going to want to, like, focus more on, like, entertainment and, like, merchandise. And, you know, all the stuff that, like, most people don't really focus on. I feel like a lot of people come to Disney for, like, rides. Yeah, we're going to go to Disney California Adventure first. I have a park hopper pass to go to Disneyland at 1 p.m., but I can go whenever after that. Yeah, let's just see what we can get done for today. All right, y'all, we made it. I got the mini ticket. All right, so we made it inside of Disney's California Adventure, and I don't really know what we're going to do. We're just going to we're just gonna walk around and see what we can find. It is already such a great start to the morning. As I'm walking in, we see Mickey. Going on the trolley. Oh, I'm home. Something I should tell you guys while I'm here, or the reason I'm here, is because of Oogie Boogie Bash. So Oogie Boogie Bash is basically this Halloween event that Disneyland does every year. And obviously they bring all the villains out and they, you know, just have you celebrate Halloween. And I've been wanting to go to this event for probably three years now. And now I'm able to make it. And through all of the things that tried to stop me, I'm still here. Still a little weird going by myself. Everybody's kind of looking at me like I'm crazy, but you know what, I don't really care. I'm kind of used to it at this point. I'm kind of a crazy person. Also, something I didn't know was, so I just did a photo pass picture with the Headless Horseman statue that they have here. And something I didn't know was, if you purchase Genie Plus, you automatically get free photo pass. I didn't know that. I think that's cool. Cause like, I mean, you, you pay like what, 20 bucks a day, I think, or like 30 bucks a day for this genie pass and i didn't know because usually like photo pass photos are like 40 to 50 dollars so i think that's i think that's actually really cool and kind of a good deal so, you know since i'm here for mainly entertainment and i want to see a lot of characters i feel like it's cool that you know that they offer that to you through disney genie plus that's so something i realized being here by myself pretty quickly walking into the parks was since i'm not used to going by myself uh i'm used to being like the tour guide and like you know making sure everybody like gets what they want on the trip so it's kind of easier to like you know get stuff checked off but me personally I've done I've done everything in this part so now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do and what I should do first and all of this this is crazy and like it's kind of nice because I'm a Disney World person but I also love Disneyland just because you know bro college student and it's more like affordable and it's easier to go to uh, it's just it's just so different here and it's so calm like everybody's just going with the flow so I kind of I love it this is nice alrighty so we've been made it to Avengers Campus I don't really know what we're gonna see but Avengers Campus usually has a a bunch of fun characters running around so maybe maybe we'll bump into some also can we just talk about the detail in this park like this all came from nowhere you literally walk in and all of a sudden you're in a different world like you think you're in the movie with this with this avengers headquarters hello captain marvel how are you i'm good i'm good i have a question for you okay what's your question how do you manage to fly through a ship without having a single scratch I, I know, but like, you think you would have little scratches. I, it's just amazing how you do it. I don't understand. I wish I was as powerful as you are. I appreciate it. Thank you. Maybe I can teach you some things. You know, it's crazy. So we, you saw we just, we just met Captain Marvel right there. What's crazy to me is, you know, you meet so many characters and you kind of just, kind of just learn to have a conversation, but I always still get nervous. I still get nervous because you're meeting the character and you don't want to like mess up anything. And you know, I don't think that conversation was she did great. She handled the conversation great. But me personally, I was nervous. I was, I was not doing great with that conversation. I wish I was able to keep it up. But you know, we ran into a character, so we made it happen. But oh, meeting characters is always so stressful. But you know, meeting, meeting, you know, face-to-face -face characters, is, it's a lot easier because they can talk back. You know, something I also forget is I'm a 19-year-old teenager. It's weird with an adult talking to you. I don't know, but it's all, it's all fun. It's all fun. But yeah, that's definitely something that goes that's a part of that whole awkwardness is you know it's always always scary to talk to teenagers i don't know i'm over by the spider-man area and i see a bunch of people signaling and kind of pulling over as if something's gonna happen so i'm gonna i'm gonna stay here for like five minutes and see if spider-man's gonna come out or something's gonna happen spider-man up here 
like I'm using my made up name. Time for some field testing. Hey, could you record it for me? Tag me later. Okay, here goes something. I've actually never been able to like fully watch that show. I mean, it's only like a 10 minute show, but I've never been able to watch it because, you know, it's kind of more like a kid's thing. Uh, so everybody I'm usually with just kind of wants to like, oh, like look at Spider-Man. Uh, okay, let's go on to the next thing. So, you know, it's kind of, it's nice. It's a, it's a fun show. It's really cool. And I think you could hear in the video uh, the crowd's reaction when, you know, Spider-Man flew in the air or honestly when Spider-Man just popped out like so many Spider-Man fans were so excited to see him. So that was, that was cool. That was really cool to see. So I got Disney Genie Plus. If you don't know what Disney Genie Plus is, it's basically a fast pass service uh, that you pay for daily. I think it's like $20 daily. So I'm just paying like $40, $40 for today and tomorrow with, for this Genie Plus service. Uh, so I got a fast pass to Soarin' at 10.25 and it's currently 10.20 so I have five minutes. So I'm just kind of waiting and then I ordered food after so we'll get some food. It's actually not too busy today. It's nice. It's very chill, very laid back, just kind of going with the flow. So yeah. Um, actually, fun fact, last time I was here it was, it was 2021, so last year on Christmas and I was here with my family and we, we rode Soarin' and it was actually Soarin' all over the world. Last, uh, Soarin' over the world is actually usually in Disney World. So, you know, seeing it here at Disneyland was kind of weird. I was kind of expecting Disney's uh, Soarin' over California, which is which is still cool. And like, this Soarin' over the world is still cool. But you know, it's kind of nice because it like separates, you know, the two parks kind of. So it was kind of like, ah, oh, dang. So I actually don't know if going on Soarin' now, if it's going to be Soaring over the world, or it changed back to Soaring over California. I don't know what. I don't know why it was Soaring over California, or Soaring all over the world last time it was here. still soaring around the world but it's so cool i mean the places you go and like the smell that they have is so satisfying on that ride it's impossible not to love the ride so yeah that was great uh but now i have food coming in like 10 minutes so i'm just gonna wait around maybe walk around for a little bit and wait for my food i got i'm very hungry i haven't eaten today so i gotta eat see this is where we have a hard time with my bank account because now we have to look at the merch i mean do i get a t-shirt or a hoodie like, I don't, they have so much here that I want. Cause you know, it's Halloween. I need some Halloween merch. Alrighty, so this is what I got. I just got like a little double cheeseburger and fries with ranch and ketchup from, I think Smoke Jumpers Grill is what it's called. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat this. So while I'm eating, I'll tell you all the plan. So what's gonna happen is I got another fast pass for Incredicoaster at 140. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can cancel that because I feel like it's too late and I kind of want to go over to Disneyland at that point, but we'll figure it out. It's fine. 
Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna eat and then and go around until 1.40, yeah. All right, so we've eaten, we've bought stuff. I'll give y'all a haul, I'll give y'all a haul uh, when I get back to my hotel, but I'm feeling like a show. So we're gonna go to Mickey's Philhar Magic. I love that show. And they just added a new Coco scene a while ago. I mean, I, I've seen it, but it's so cool to see a new Coco scene. I love Coco, so yeah. I love that show so much. It's always cold in there, so it's nice to get away from the heat, but it's actually not that hot here today. Uh, but now I'm going into the Avengers Campus Superstore just to see what I can find in here. Okay, so I had no clue this was a thing, and now I'm shook. Like, they have a little Iron Man right there. What? What else do they got? They got... Wow, okay, I did not know this was a thing. I'm definitely gonna have to get something from here. That store was awesome. Apparently it's like, this has been a thing since June of last year. And I've been here since then, but I've never seen this. It was cool, I got a little uh, Black Panther t-shirt. Yeah, definitely, my money's definitely going on this trip. So, it's okay though, it's okay. It looks like we got a little dance party over here. You never know what kind of entertainment you're gonna find around here. It's just that's what I love about Disneyland. It's like so I don't know. I feel like it's more it has more of the entertainment side. I mean it makes sense California, but like I don't know. I just it's definitely a little bit more entertaining and they have a little bit more like like activities here. But yeah, wow, so many things is going on right now. I don't know. So much going on. Alright, now we're gonna go into Turtle Talk with Crush. I've always seen this on TikTok and a lot of comedy stuff, so I wanna I wanna go. I've never been to Turtle Talk with Crush, so let's see. So I have no clue what's going on or where I am. But I just went into a building. And they're playing all these like songs and I don't know, just animation stuff. So I'm a little confused on what's going on. Yeah, we got Pinocchio up here. I guess it's the new live action Pinocchio. It was really good. But yeah, I don't really know what's happening. Like, there's there's two of the top of the class, so we're gonna, we're gonna go there. It looks like the show may not be going on right now, so we have to wait. But I don't know. Okay, so Toro Talk with Crush doesn't start till 12:30. It's 12:06. They just had a, they just started a show at 12, so we barely missed it. So we're just gonna walk around for a little bit, uh, maybe see what else we can find. That's an animation right there. It's pretty cool. What's cracking me up is I have no idea how this video is going. Because to me personally, like I don't, I don't think I'm doing too good. But this is trial and error, so I don't know. If you guys are watching, you made it this far. Thank you. I don't know. This is new. I mean, new-ish. But like, I'm not used to this stuff, so I hope, I hope I'm doing okay. <laughs> okay, so while we wait for Turtle Talker Crush, we're gonna go back to Avengers Campus to see what else. See if we can find any more characters running around. See if we can find any adventures. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So I found some characters. Oh my god! We got Iron Man, Chi-Chi, Falcon, and Captain Marvel. I don't even know if you can hear me on the music. I think I just missed them. Is someone happening right now? So I don't know if y'all know, but the Hulk is at Avengers Campus now, and this is where his meeting room is. Um, You're kidding. You're kidding. I know I did not. Iron Man! What? Okay, Tony, y'all been one of these. Monitor for You're threats kidding. and I'll do some recon. There's no issue. I see you, Shane. Hello? What? Hi. Hi there. What? Uh, Tony, did you just quantum travel me 20 feet down the hall? Uh, yeah. What a staggering waste of resources. But hilarious. And hey, now you can meet some fans. Now that's a mission I like. Okay, I'm gonna hang out for a while, and Tony, I can walk back in by myself. And we're all very proud of you. Okay, have fun, you guys. Of course we will. Hey, hi there. Come right up. I'm so sure. Hey, thanks for coming by. I don't, I don't know how I just predicted that happened. Hey, good. what's up? Let's say green. Green. I'm so sorry. I can't believe that just happened. Okay, so as you can see, there wasn't like much meet and greet there. It was more of like free for all, which is kind of <laughs> hectic, which tells me that like, you know, obviously this is a trial and error kind of thing. You know, the Hulk doesn't have much movement. It's all, all fabric, his costume. So it's like, he doesn't have that much room to like, you know, move. And I think originally they were going to try to do 
like an actual meet and greet and it, the first day i heard that they did it and it was a mess clearly that's why they just decided to go a free-for-all on meet and greet which actually is just as like fine as you could like i got i got that video and i was just able to stand in front of the hulk and kind of just wait for him to like angle my way and then like just take a selfie or a video or whatever so it actually worked out fine for me i got really lucky because i heard people waited two hours in the meet and greet for the Hulk. And Hulk is my favorite Avenger, so I'm actually kind of starstruck right now. Like, that just happened. I, like, saw... Oh, I don't even know... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it right now. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, now that that happened, we're gonna go back to Turtle Talk with Crust, because uh, it starts in 10 minutes, so we're gonna try to make it. But that's crazy. I'm still shook. See, you guys can see all those people over there crowding. It's, like, it's literally a free-for-all. But luckily, the costume's big enough, so... Trial and error. We'll give, we'll give Disney a break. Three! Sea moss growing your face, bra. I mean, it looks good, but careful, all that stuff spreads. <laughs> so, like, Dave, dude, where do you totally come from? Phoenix. Ooh, how is the surf in the Phoenix? Uh, very low. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, dude. <laughs> okay, well, how is it? If you're not really surfing up in the Phoenix, like, what are your land hobbies then, Dave, dude? Uh, being in air conditioning. What's that? <laughs> Uh, the cold part of the water. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not about that cold part, dude. I need to be at 68 degrees and above because I'm a tropical sea turtle. Okay, well, how about this, Dave? Do you, when you totally do get a chance to go swimming, do you like to swim fast or just take it, you know, nice and easy? Nice and easy. Dude, that explains the sea moss, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you want to uh, flip back off the shell, close the lids, and just be like, <laughs> I'm deep sea dead. <laughs> I sat all the way in the back so the turtle wouldn't pick on me, but he did anyway. Quandale <laughs> Dingle. Oh, I did. So, Kawaii Quandale Dingle, what is your question, dude? You play Fortnite? Mm, no, I usually try to stay, you know, less than two weeks, dude. I'm not about that Fortnite life. <laughs> do, do you play the Fortnite, dude? Nah. Oh. Well, it 
was an invigorating conversation. <laughs> Turtle talk with crush is like the thing I see on TikTok and like like I will favorite it and like keep it in my save. I don't know. It's just something about it. It's just very funny. Very interactive too. This one, I think the one in Disney World was shorter from what I've seen on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna go ride the Little Mermaid ride. That's what that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a, a slow ride. I wanna I wanna see some little mermaid. You know, something I recommend if you come to Disneyland. Just come here. This very area I chose a bench so there's a little mermaid ride come down find a quiet spot and just just look at this scene. camera's not doing it justice but like there's just something so peaceful about like you know turning that corner and then seeing this like i don't know it's crazy but this is one of my always like one of my favorite sites to see so Take this in for a second. Yeah, they have a credit coaster behind, which we're gonna ride in 35 minutes. Something I noticed about being at Disney California Adventure or Hollywood Studios is they always play songs from Hello Dolly. You can hear it now, maybe. You can hear it now. But I was in Hello Dolly my sophomore year of high school. I'm getting a little bit of PTSD from that show. But it, it cracks me up because the songs are so catchy. It just makes you dance. Like they're, they're playing Sunday Clothes right now. So. All fun. Now we're gonna go on the Little Mermaid ride, and then after we're gonna get on the Incredicoaster. Coaster. I'm probably not gonna film the Incredicoaster. Coaster. I spoke too soon. Oh, never mind, we're back to the spot. Something about the Little Mermaid ride that always makes me happy. I was Sebastian in my eighth grade play, which is why I was so vibing the under the sea. All right, now we're going to the Incredicoaster for my fast pass at 140. It started 10 minutes ago, so I still got some time. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna hop over to Disneyland. I was going to try to go in there today, but that's gonna be a tomorrow thing since we'll have a little bit more time to spare. People are actually starting to crowd over here, so I think there's gonna be a show happening. So we're gonna we're gonna stick it out and see what show's about to happen.
This show is cute. I love Coco, it's one of my favorite movies. Everything's coming towards us today. Now we're going to ride Incredicoaster and then head over to Disneyland. We're going, it's actually starting to get hot. So maybe when we go over to Disneyland, we'll get a Mickey bar. I love Incredicoaster, it's so much fun. Probably actually my favorite ride at California Adventure. Just, I don't know, you go and you just have, like you have no choice but to laugh. Like I was laughing the entire time. Obviously I don't interact on rides cause I'm by myself. So I'm just like the entire time. <laughs> so like straight face, but like on that one, you have no choice but to laugh. All right guys, so I'm back home. Uh, this is the ending to the first vlog. I don't know how many vlogs there are gonna be. This one ended up being longer than I thought it would be. I was gonna do the entire first day, but instead I just cut it down to Disney California Adventure because it was so long. And I apologize for it being so long, but I cut it down as much as I could. I hope you guys still enjoy it, but yeah. Stay tuned for the next video, which is gonna be at Disneyland on the first day.